Hello, and welcome to part 2 of 2 of the Fender Blues Jr. NOS Edition Review. In my last video, I recorded the Stock Blues Jr. in all of its stock beauty. I demonstrated the amplifier in many different settings, and with the addition of a TS-9 and TS-808, I was able to show the diversity of such a great small 15 watt amplifier. In this video, I will demonstrate the new tonality of the amp with a couple of Bill McCrone mods that I did myself and have been using for several years. The mods that were done to this amplifier are directly from the Bill McCrone website, BillMAudio.com. For those of you who don't know, Bill McCrone was a pioneer in the field of Blues Junior modifications and was a well-known and respected figure in the electronics publication world. Bill M passed in 2016, leaving a large legacy in the Blues Junior modification world. He can still purchase the mods and still get great advice about Blues Junior from his son who still runs business. This Blues Junior has been upgraded with a basic kit for the cream board and the recap kit and the twin-like clean tone twin stack mod, which is extremely simple and basically free. The mods altogether cost about $35 American. According to the Bill M website, the basic kit will add back the missing lowest octave of the bass and sweeten the clean tones. The power supply stiffening capacitor doubles the size of the main filter stage, halves the ripple going to the output tubes, and provides solid bass tones that you'll notice right away. This Blues Jr. stock Jensen speaker has been swapped for a Celestion Vintage 30. To smooth out some of the brightness of the Vintage 30, I also installed a front baffle which is just a simple slice of spruce wood. And of course, a new set of preferred level tubes from the tubestore.com. As always, I'm plugged into my 1982 DeArmond Starfire with Gretsch style humbucker pickups. The amp was significantly more aggressive in the bass response. It also has a significantly different breakup from before, but this can also be caused by the new tubes. I'll run through a couple of settings and let you hear the new tones. The twin stack mod, which essentially modifies the mid adjustment potentiometer, can really clean up a muddy signal and give the Blues Jr. those Fender twin like clean tones.
Just like we did last time, I would like to put an Ibanez TS9 and TS808 in the signal chain to listen to the amplifier saturation region. First I will play with the clean tone with the EQ section all dialed to max, and the preamp gain at 3, and then I will bring in the TS9 and then the TS808. Both tube screamers have all controls set to noon. Overall, the amplifier is still its old clean fender self, but taken out of the boxy tonal spectrum. With enhanced bottom end and crunchy lead and rhythm tones, this amp can really surprise someone who is expecting a stock Fender Blues Junior sound. For any questions you may have on Bill M Blues Junior mods, please visit their website at BillMAudio.com. You don't need to do the mods yourself, you can actually send the Blues Junior to them and they'll mod it for you and send it back. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and post any questions you may have in the comments section below.